Welcome everybody to today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fired up too, Dalton. Are you fired up? High five, let's go. We've got cheese on the agenda, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we got a great episode once again. We got a special cheese in the blue family, Cambazola. So stay tuned, we're gonna talk all about it. We're gonna cheese it up. That's right, we're gonna cheese it up today. Campazola is part of the blue cheese family, and how blue cheeses are categorized is typically you'd see some blue or potentially a bluish black uh, coloring here. So it's actually the mold of the cheese, perfectly fine uh, to eat, but these are defining characteristics of cheeses within the blue category. Now, Campazola is considered to be more of a hybrid cheese because it takes on properties of your blues and also your gorgonzolas, which can be pretty potent cheeses, but on top of that, it also carries a very creamy base because it's made very similarly to the Brie cheeses from France. So what you have here is essentially have a cheese that is partly from France and the other part from Italy where Gorgonzola was traditionally made. Now this cheese, it's gonna cut much nicer than you would with a blue cheese or potentially Gorgonzola cheese. Gorgonzola and blue cheese tend to be very crumbly and you almost need a spoon once you slice it to, you know, to pick it up and to be able to get all the cheese. Uh, this one is going to have more properties similar to brie cheese where it's very creamy and very easy to slice. You can spread it or put it right on a cracker or a slice of bread. No issues there whatsoever. This is actually my first time trying this cheese. So I'm very curious uh, just in terms of how strong or how potent the taste is. Usually blue cheeses aren't great for individuals that prefer more milder cheeses or just getting into sampling of cheeses. Myself included, when I was younger, I really didn't enjoy or appreciate gorgonzolas and that was more of an acquired taste as I continued to get a little bit older. So I'm curious to see how close the cambazola is to the gorgonzola or the blue properties. So let's go ahead and give this cheese a try. cut a slice and as promised you can see that it held together pretty nicely and takes on a lot of those brie uh, type properties. This Cambazola, uh, by the way, so this is made by Champignon, which is actually, believe it or not, a German uh, brand. So Germany got the idea of combining the French and also the Italian cheeses. Again, Gorgonzola from Italy and then you have the brie from France. So it is a kind of an interesting combination. We're going to give it a try. I'd say it's a great description, a stronger version of brie. I'd say this is probably a good transitionary cheese too. It definitely has a little bit of a bite and is definitely stronger than a lot of other brie type cheeses. So you do pick up a little bit of the, the blue and also gorgonzola. But this is good on the try if you just wanted to get a sense for some of the stronger types of cheeses, uh, cheese options, you know, like the gorgonzolas or the, or the blues. Oh, well, though, pretty, pretty tasty cheese. Would love to get your opinion on these Cambazola cheese. So when you go out to the next grocery visit, try some Cambazola. Whether if you're a fan of more modern cheeses or if you prefer some of the heavier, more potent you new know, cheeses, give it a try. I'm curious to get your thoughts and drop some comments uh, directly below on my YouTube channel and my video. So thank you very much for joining us today. And until next time, keep cheesing it up. Like, you know, I'm trying to ruin me. Put it right here. Put it right here? Okay.